Chytrans disease is a common condition. Who can suffer from it? Well, that's known as the Viking's disease. So it's a genetic disease um, that originates from the north of Europe. So the, uh, you know, Denmark, Sweden, Ireland, and these uh, countries of the north of Europe. And back in those days, the Vikings, you know, they spread all over the world and they spread their genes. And in, there's one gene that's defective. We don't exactly know which one it is, but that causes the disease to appear in the hand. It affects primarily men after the age of uh, 40 or 50 years old, um, way more often than women. Women can get it too. Uh, sometimes you can get it on one hand or two hands. You can sometimes get it on the feet as well. Uh, often there is a family history, uh, but it can also happen without any family history. And just, you know, it's the random appearance of the disease in one specific individual. What are the main symptoms? Um, symptoms are basically um, thickenings and hardenings and nodules appearing in the palm of the hand. Those nodules can um, uh, grow and become cords or cord-like tissues that extend into the fingers. And then once they, they reach the fingers, they'll cause a retraction, like a contraction, if you, if you will. That's why it's called a contracture. And it will bring the fingers in the palm. Um, the most commonly affected finger is the ring finger, followed by the small finger. Um, and then basically it's a loss of function. The patient is unable to open the hand fully and is unable to put uh, their hand flat on the table. And it may end up with you know, a retraction, which is, could be this bad sometimes. So th those are the symptoms. It's hardly uh, painful. Sometimes there's a little pain at the beginning when, when, there's, when the disease is actually growing, but usually that pain stabilizes. So pain is not a concern uh, that patients express. Uh, it's primarily loss of function and, uh, you know, impairment in, in, in function of the hand. What is the success rate um, of the surgery and what complication can happen? Success rate is very high because you can really re improve the function of the hand, even more so if you operate early enough. Back in the days, we used to wait a long time because the only option we had was very aggressive. Nowadays, we can operate earlier with better results and less complications. Um, speaking of complications, you can suffer from a nerve injury, uh, a tendon injury, infection, uh, wound healing problems, stiffness in the fingers. Actually, the most complication, the most common complication would be stiffness in joints. Once again, if you choose um, an approach that's less invasive, you'll have less swelling, less pain, patients will move better, and you'll have way less st stiffness than you would with an 
you know, in a classic uh, open procedure. And what about